checking out Sebec Lake this morning. What a pretty shot out there. Not too bad, right? That's like cotton candy skies. Kind of, yeah. Cotton candy water. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Northern Maine, Sam, during this weekend so far, you know, we're about halfway through it. Yep. Um, has actually been really, really nice. Um, a lot of the weather watchers up north have been checking in this morning saying, hey, this is some pretty good weather. I mean, it's been sunny. It's not exactly hot, but we'll it's... take it take it right it's in the 60s um, also from central maine and the central maine highlands milo this is the sebec river and that's west main street and you can see that there are some clouds up there but they're thinner clouds and we'll squeeze out some pretty decent weather up north again today before you know we really get into the rainfall tonight and tomorrow portland's high yesterday just 50 degrees i mean i joked on my instagram yesterday said hey everybody have a happy St. Patrick's Day weekend because it kind of feels like March or April. Uh, you can check my Instagram. It's Todd underscore Guttner. Uh, you can follow me on that. Lewiston, Auburn, 52. Augusta, 54. Not so bad in Bangor. It was almost 60. And there you go. Millinocket and Caribou, 60 to 65. That's decent weather. That's happy stuff. And that's up near an area of high pressure. But closer to the low, we already do have some isolated showers roaming through Lewiston, Auburn, and our capital, Augusta, Waterville, and a few sprinkles at the mouth of the Penobscot, too. Temps are in the 40s right now. There were some frosty spots up north and in the mountains this morning where it was clear. Temperatures dipped down to around 31, 32 in several communities. There's that offshore front. Along it, low pressure is developing, and this one originated down off of Florida loaded with tropical like moisture and we're in for a deluge. We're in for a soaking. I gotta say we really need it, uh, but it's gonna pour later tonight and tomorrow morning. Sunshine up north, cloudy across the south, even a few isolated showers, chilly out there. Midday, the clouds thicken and here come the showers again, draped right along the coastline, already getting wet. Breeze picking up out of the northeast too. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be raw. The sun though, hanging on to northern Maine. So if that's where you wanna go, or if you want to see it, that's where you got to go. You got to drive a little bit. Afternoon and evening, those rain showers get steadier. They work deeper inland and we're going downhill across the rest of the state. And the deeper you go into the evening and into the night, the steadier the rain is going to get and the heavier it's going to get too. I wouldn't be shocked if we hear some rumbles of thunder, like if you're awakened later tonight by the thunder or maybe just the heavy rain pounding the roof uh, later on tonight. All right, look at this spread in temperatures. Pretty nice stuff for Caribou, 65. Just downright rude in Portsmouth, 49. And close to it in Sanford and Portland. And Lewiston's 52. Waterville, 54. Respectable for Bangor, 55 degrees. But still way below the average. Heavy rain tonight. Heavy rain tomorrow morning. And sadly, it's going to continue through the middle of the day before starting to let up a little bit in the afternoon. Although still kind of damp tomorrow afternoon. Almost a washout, sadly. Uh, for Memorial Day, you know, just in time for everyone to go back to work and school. Here comes the sun again and the warmth resumes on Tuesday and actually sticks around most of next week. Our temps will be above where they should be in the 70s, if not 80 degrees. Now, this is what you got to focus on. It's the silver lining. We desperately need it. We're running huge rainfall deficits this year, and this is seriously going to help many, if not all of Maine getting an inch, maybe even two inches of rain out of this except the Western Maine Mountains in Coas County, New Hampshire. So this will help the farmers out. This is going to help your lawns out, your gardens out, and hopefully your wells out too, because those are running real low also. Small crafts are up, seas five to eight feet. Northeasterly is gushing to 30 knots for all you folks that put your boats in this week. Sorry. Next weekend though, next weekend looks A-OK -okay to use them. Showers return, especially this afternoon. Highs in the low 50s, heavy rain tonight and tomorrow. Sun's back on Tuesday. We're back into the 70s also, close to 80 on Wednesday. Now the humidity levels are going to start to creep up, and that'll lead to shower chances on Thursday, but no washouts, not at all. And then the chance for a thunderstorm on Friday. And there's Saturday. Look at that. 80 or higher next weekend. Not too bad.